Hello and welcome to another ADAS calibration video. Today we'll be working on a 2021 Honda Clarity fuel cell vehicle and we'll be calibrating the front camera. We'll use our X431 uh, mobile platform along with our iSmartLink 801 display tablet. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll start by putting the VCI into the OBD2 port of the vehicle. And then we'll go ahead and turn the key to ignition two. Close our door here, and then we'll start the ADAS calibration. So we'll click on ADAS calibration. Tablet's communicating with the vehicle. All right, we'll choose Honda. It's a USA version. Okay, we get the vehicle information displayed on the tablet here. We'll hit OK. And we'll start off by clicking on the ADAS system scan button. And we'll run through all the scan, um, all of the um, ADAS hardware that's equipped on this vehicle. Now this particular vehicle doesn't, um, doesn't currently have any codes on it, but we'll move forward as if it did. Okay, we'll go ahead and generate our pre-repair report. So I'll click on the report button, check the report type. It says pre-repair here. You can go ahead and populate uh, this template with your work order number, the name of the customer, et cetera. You can also take a picture of the vehicle if you'd like to, um, but we'll go ahead and just move forward and press okay. This generates our pre-repair report. We'll hit save. And then we'll go ahead and click on the ADAS calibration function and we'll be calibrating the front camera. So I'll click on front camera calibration. And we're doing a static aiming, so we'll click on static. And then it's gonna ask you which platform are we using today. So today we're gonna be using the uh, mobile, so I'll select mobile. And then we'll go ahead and click on setup. Now the first thing we'll need to do is um, determine our center point on the vehicle. So that's gonna be our first step and then we'll move uh, through the process um, as we go along towards getting this vehicle calibrated. So we need to determine the center line of our vehicle and point A would be the front of the vehicle and point B would be the rear of the vehicle. Uh, we'll start using our plumb bomb, placing it here in the center. And we'll go ahead and mark our first point. Moving to the rear of the vehicle, we'll now determine our point B. Same thing as we did in the front, we'll just determine our center point. And then we'll go ahead and place our five line laser. We turn the laser on. There's a red, red dot on the bottom here. We put that at the uh, center of the cross. And then taking our mirror, we'll look for the laser to hit the front reflector panel that I've placed in the front. So with our center line determined, we'll now go ahead and make, take our second measurement. We need to get to our point C, which in this case for this Honda, it's gonna be uh, 6,000 millimeters straight back. But first we need to go ahead and make a rectangle so that we know that we're squared off. So my first thing to do here is I'm gonna go ahead and measure out 1,000 millimeters from at a right angle from the first point here at point A. And then we'll go ahead and mark that. And then we'll go ahead and move our five line laser from this position over to this new position here. We'll line it up. And from here, we'll go ahead and measure back 
to 6,000 millimeters. And that measurement's gonna be from the front center hub. Okay, and here we are at our 6,000 millimeter mark. So go ahead and place down this target. And then we're gonna go ahead and measure back this way. Okay, from our 6,000 millimeter point in length, we're gonna go back 1,000. So we'll go ahead and measure that here. And then we'll go ahead and take our, turn on our cross laser here. And we'll get that positioned to the center of the vehicle. And I'll go ahead and mark it for now. We'll lock down our wheels just to hold it in position and just to get a ballpark. point here. We don't have to be exactly accurate because we still have to level out our frame, which will be our next step. So right now I'm showing them a little bit low on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and crank this up. Oops, going the wrong way actually. Okay. Okay. Looks like we're level there. We'll go ahead and center it again here, and we'll lock down our casters here. And then we'll get ready for the next step. So now that we have our target frame positioned at the 6,000 millimeter length, we've gone ahead and leveled the frame out. Our next adjustment is to go ahead and make sure that we're parallel with the vehicle. That would be the yaw adjustment. And there's a fine tuning knob just located at the back of the frame here. And I'm just looking at it using my cross laser and looking at the center point of the vehicle. So I'll make that adjustment. It looks like we're good right about there. So I'll move on to the next step. Next, we just need to go ahead and, and uh, set the height of the frame. So I'll turn on our height laser here. And currently we're at 12, looks like we're at 1223 and we need to be at 1180. So I'll be cranking this down. So here we are at 1180. And then I'll go ahead and double check my centering again. And it looks like we're good. So we'll move on to our next step. We'll go ahead and place the target. The target we're using for this particular vehicle, this is for the Honda, and it's gonna be the LAM0120. Uh, all of our targets have our part number right on the back here. So we'll go ahead and place this. Now this is gonna be first placed in uh, the center position here. So I'll be removing our, I'll turn off our central laser and go ahead and remove it. And then I'll go ahead and put the target in its place. With that, we're ready to calibrate. So I'm gonna go ahead and step behind the vehicle here and stay out of the sight line of the front camera. So my key is still in ignition two. I'm gonna go ahead and hit calibration. Now you'll be prompted to enter the height of the wheel well. Uh, I've already done this uh, prior to setup and it's at 700 millimeters. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter that in. All right, and I'll go ahead and press next. Okay, so that was the success. Now I need to move this target to its next position. For this particular vehicle, um, we also have to use an extension post. Uh, this is the part right here. This is the LAM0909. And basically what, that, what it's going to do is it's gonna extend it beyond the 800 millimeter limit that the frame can support. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock that down at 800. And then we'll go ahead and position the extension here, starting with the driver's side. And we'll use this collar here to lock it in place. I'll then move the target from the center over to this position. And I'll go ahead and step back behind the vehicle's camera again. And I'll go ahead and press next. Next. 
Okay, that was a success. So now I'm gonna do the same step, but I'm gonna be moving it to the right side or passenger side. So we'll set this for 800. the collar and then we'll place the target now with all this moving around I'm going to go ahead and double check that that I didn't bump our frame so I'm going to place the center laser back on and I'm just going to make sure that we're still centered so I'm a little bit off here so I'm going to go ahead and readjust that using our fine tuner on the back of the frame here. So that's correct now. And we'll go ahead and step behind the camera and hit next. And I have a static camera aiming completed. So this completes the static portion of the front camera adjustment. It's gonna ask me to turn off the ignition, so I'll turn that off. We'll press okay. It's asking me to cycle it back on. Let's turn it back on. It's asking whether I'd like to save the ADAS report. I'm going to say yes, okay. We we'll save the report. And that completes the static portion of the um, ca um, camera aiming. Next, we'll go ahead and do the dynamic. Okay, with the static portion of our calibration completed, we're now gonna go ahead and move over to the dynamic portion. This is where we'll be driving the vehicle. Um, it's best to keep the vehicle between 40 and 70 miles per hour, and we wanna be driving pretty much straight as much as possible, so uh, look for a good straight road with well-defined lines. Also, it's best to have um, a hotspot to have your tablet connected to um, your hotspot so that you still have network connectivity to it. With that, we'll go ahead and get started. So I'll go ahead and press OK. Press OK here. All right, and we'll go ahead and start driving. So I'll go ahead and get my seatbelt on and we'll hit the road. All right, so we'll go, go ahead and get started on our drive here. I'll go ahead and stay in the center lane here so that it's uh, well defined. And we'll try to keep a uh, good distance between us and the vehicle in front. Okay, so we've got a successful dynamic calibration here. So we'll go ahead and head back so we can cycle the ignition uh, off and on and complete this calibration. So thanks for watching.